Hello, everyone. Let me get everyone in here. Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everyone. Hope you are having a wonderful day so far. Welcome, welcome. Awesome. Okay, looks like everyone's kind of tuning in. So that's good. I'm going to go ahead and well, let's get some holiday spirit going here while we wait for everyone to jump in. Feel free to say hi while we wait. Get into the holiday spirit a little bit. Okay, so we are going to be creating the family of snowman bags as far as supplies go, just to make sure that we have everything. Um, you'll need some, a pattern paper. If you're using the same one, I did mention that I got this at Hobby Lobby. I'm actually gonna do some teals just to show variation as we create the, another set today. And then um, a little bit of orange cardstock. I just pulled out some of my scraps because we literally just need some scraps. And um, black cardstock and white cardstock as well. And then, of course, some white little sandwich bags. These are the small size. They're three and a half inches wide. Now, I did hear from some of the team members that some might have had um, some issues finding some of these. And if that's the case and you got the bigger ones, um, just let me know and we can kind of walk through how to adjust if need be, okay? Um, and then the principle. So, um, we will be using these as templates here. These other portions, I'll show the face if you prefer to do the face over um, doing googly eyes or adding your own orange nose. That's what these are for. So it makes it really simple to add the faces. So if you have it printed, awesome. Um, I'll, this is kind of a simpler way and then you can kind of do it more uh, layered up if you want. And then if you didn't have a hole punch, um, then there's these uh, black circles, which is what it was for, just in case you didn't have them, then we provided those little, little extra bits. And then on top of that, as far as the designer templates go, we're just gonna be sticking to the tiny bracket. And it comes with four tiny brackets, these four different sizes and designs. And that's it. That's the only set we're gonna be using tonight. So pretty simple, really, really simple. So easy to kind of mass produce these um, especially for little treat bags or whatever. Um, you could put wax paper inside. I mean, I'm sure you could put little treats depending on the treats, but if you were gonna do like home baked goodies, I would just put a little tissue or I mean wax paper in there and then stick your little home goodies in there and perfect to give um, those yummy goodness or whatever or a gift or whatever you might put into it. But okay, let's start, let's start. We're going to start, actually, I'm going to go ahead and um, listen, we're still seeing your face instead of your hand. See, I said, you guys let me know. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see here. Spotlight for everyone. Now? We good? Yes, perfect. Thank you. Oh, thank you. I told you guys to let me know. Can't let me go on and on about it. All right. Okay. <clears throat> so yes, so the printable. So here is the printable on this. And I'll just kind of recap that for a moment. Um, these three different designs up here, we're gonna be using those, okay? And then there's that principle if anyone needs it. I put it into the comments so that you guys can grab that if need be. All right. Okay. All right, all right. Oh, some more are jumping in. Welcome, welcome. We are just getting started. So we're just grabbing all of our supplies to make these fun snowman bags. Okay. So go ahead and pre-cut those if you haven't already. So I'm just gonna go quickly and cut those out and put them with my templates so that we're set and we will dive right in after that, okay? All 
All right. This way, all you're going to need is the tiny brackets designer template set. Uh, along with this free principle. And since you guys couldn't see my hands before that, this is the faces I was talking about. So I'm going to be using the cardstock and the googly eyes just to add a little dimension. But when we get to the faces, if you prefer to kind of do it more of a simpler way, like I said, these are really great for mass producing. They're so easy and so fun just to kind of sit down and watch a Christmas movie, or you could listen to Christmas music and hang out with other creators while you create. That's always so fun. So we're going to go ahead and just cut those out. And I can't wait to see if you guys, what colors and patterns and um, how many of you guys chose this pattern or did you guys just grab some from your paper stash? I'm sure <laughs> as paper crafters, you had plenty of paper stash to choose from, <laughs> but so many fun ways that you can just change up the style instantly with just the choice of paper. So cute. I went and got your paper first, but I'll try other paper later. Yeah, absolutely. Stash, yeah. So, because they're so cute to see them um, and to create similar ones. But then, of course, like you said, you can create other versions. So, okay, let's start with. We start with mom, dad, daughter, son. I don't think it really matters. We're going to start with Mr. Mr. Little Guy here. And for this one, we're going to be using the Tiny Brackets 1T and the Tiny Brackets 2T. So we're going to use 1T and 2T on the Tiny Brackets. And we're going to be using our bow tie that we just cut out of our free principle. So everything else, we can kind of stick to the side for a moment. We don't need our bags. I'll show you how to attach them to your bags. It's really simple, but we don't need that yet. We're gonna kind of just build up our snowman uh, face and then we will attach it to the bag, okay? Now, so to start off, you're gonna take brackets 2T and you're going to trace it out of the white cardstock. Pretty simple. If you printed this on white cardstock, this is kind of what I was sharing is that you could just easily use that principle and trace it out of that. And your face and everything will be added instantly to your snowman. Otherwise, you can add a little bit of dimension with googly eyes and those things, but I think it's cute either way. So if you're using the principle, um, then trace it out of this. And of course the designer templates are clear so you can see through it. So just make sure you got it kind of positioned where you want. Um, making sure the chin is kind of close to that, the smile, probably even to the point. There's seven, seven dots here. Um, go three to the inwards and then on that fourth dot, probably align it with the point of the bracket is what I would suggest. And just kind of keep it tight towards the bottom because we do need to add a rim to the hat. So you don't really want to center it. You want to kind of pull it, um, towards the bottom of that bracket, all right? So pretty simple, guys. Pretty, pretty simple. So I'm gonna go ahead and trace mine out of white cardstock on this, just so that I can show, of course, creating the snow man face using other supplies. Always detach it from whatever paper you're working with. And then trim right around the edges. If this is anyone's first Kiwi class, let me know, of course. I'll kind of share a couple of the tips as far as cutting goes or anything like that if needed. Um, but ultimately, as we play to create with the designer templates, it's a very simple trace cut. And then I recommend inking. So if you're to that step already, go ahead and ink those edges you like, or you can wait towards the end. And I just use this vintage photo with the dauber and I add a little ink. Of course, that's optional, but you can kind of see it on this finished one. So hides any pencil marks if needed, but ultimately just give contrast. 
All right. Now we're going to and first period class, welcome. Okay, I will share a little bit more and uh, slow down a little bit, or you let me know if any points, okay? Um, okay, so bracket one T, bracket one T is going to be our little topper to this snowman guy here. And this is going to be out of whatever pattern paper, preferably a pattern paper if you want a solid, adorable too. Um, I think it's fun to add a little pattern and you're just gonna trace that out. So with the designer templates, of course, um, you just line it up on your paper. I'm gonna put it on my edge because that's where it happens to be. And I'm just gonna trace those edges that are showing or needed here. And just take a pencil, hold it down with your hand and trace around that. And then, of course, when I say detach, it's mostly just because you don't want to wrestle with unnecessary extra uh, paper. And then uh, as far as cutting goes, keep it pretty simple. But for the most part, and I'll share a couple tips with you specifically just in case. Um, I guess I should ask, are you need a Kiwi or just first Kiwi class? But either way, it's always nice to kind of pay attention to the cutting. Um, as far as tips goes, just stay on the back end of your scissors and do just kind of quick short cuts, but keep your cutting hand stationed for the most part and glide, guide it, glide it through with your alternative hand. That's pretty much just the, the, the um, basic tips, tips of a little bit of cutting things. There we go. Perfect, Dan. Okay. And then as far as inking goes, so as I shared, it's kind of a simple, well, we're not really designing, we're using them as uh, templates basically in this class, but usually we do a little bit of playing with the designer templates, which make them great designing tools and then templates. Um, but other than that, it's just a trace, cut, ink, and then of course, replace whatever you might be using that with. And the inking just like uh, gives it that contrast and or hides any pencil marks if you have it um, in general. Just gives it a kind of more of a solid finish look in my opinion, but it is optional. Some people love it, some people don't. I prefer a little bit of ink. I think it's worth just that extra couple seconds to ink those edges. All right. So we have our hat and our top, right? And um, you know what? We can go ahead and cut a brim out. So if you are doing more of a black brim to the hat, if you have your paper trimmer, this is the only time we're ever going to use our paper trimmer actually is to cut these strips. So whatever you're gonna cut your strip out of, uh, it's about a one inch strip. So go ahead and cut about a one inch strip. Okay, and then it's by, let me get that for you guys here. Three and a half. So you're gonna do one inch by three and a half for this first snowman's hat, which is what the width of the bag is too. Okay, so you can add a little pop-up for the brim if you guys have some of pop-up. That's, I did use a little bit of pop-up there, again, more for dimensional between those two layers. So the first thing I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna go ahead and personally add the hat just so that I can see where the eyes and the mouth and the nose, all of that goes. If you're adding it uh, with, you know, by yourself, okay? So we're just going to add a little bit of adhesive to the top. So we're gonna use that top of the bracket to adhere the top of the hat. 
like so. And then we're gonna add our brim. Like I said, if you wanna add a little pop up, you can. See how fun they are? Oh, instantly, it's just like a whole different character by just changing up a little bit of that pattern and color with it. Every one of them makes me smile, like I said. So you guys, you, I can't wait to see what your personality of your snowmans are. All right, guys. Um, and then googly eyes and a mouth. I recommend to go ahead and do that now as well before you add it to the bag. That's why then you're not trying to, you know, on a bumpy surface be adding that. As far as the nose goes, we're just gonna pretty much hand cut it here. Just clip a little triangle. And if you, you know, you need to trim it a little bit. You could start a little bit bigger and then trim down or give it a really big nose, whatever you want to do on that, or really stubby nose. I'm going to do a little bit smaller. Like so. So for me, when I'm about, before I go to put the mouth down, that's kind of why I want the hat on and kind of where the nose is going to be and the eyes are going to be. Because when you take a pen, <laughs> you kind of want to feel like you know where all that's going to go. I mean, to draw little dots, it's not, you don't have to be a crazy artist or anything to do it, right? But I do want to make sure that as far as the spacing goes, that I have that down. So I'm gonna go ahead, that's why I recommend put the hat down first and then go ahead and attach the little eyes in the nose. If again, you're adding them to it or if you're using the friend printable, then of course it kind of simplifies that process a little bit for you um, on that. As far as attaching eyes, you can either use like a liquid adhesive um, and then let it dry if need be, I probably actually will. I was gonna pull out glue dots, or if you have glue dots, I recommend, mm -hmm. of course, those for this type of. Yeah. What is this song? I've not heard it. Christmas Memories, Alabama. I'm not sure I've ever heard this song. I'm gonna have to let those dry for a moment, but for the most part, they should stay in place. Put them as far as hard as you want. And then we're just going to kind of repeat the process in similar ways for the other one. So, so easy, right? All right. So as far as the mouth goes, um, I recommend starting with that middle, middle dot and just going where the chin, we're going to call it a chin, the, the point of the bracket, right? That little chin. You're gonna go up to where you want it to start and just go ahead and do one dot there. Kind of using a black fine point pin. And then you're going to go three to the right and three to the left. You can do dashes if you prefer like a dash smile. Yeah. Do little enamel dots or you want to dress it up in the various different ways but I think what the beauty of these is just kind of a simple cuteness to them how we doing everyone doing good see you guys working so that's good Anyone has any uh, song requests, let me know. You can tune it to your favorite Christmas song or something. You guys might be ahead of me. So I'm gonna go ahead and go to the bag just so we cover how to adhere it to the bag, okay? So as far as the bag goes, we wanna position our head before we get 
the position of the buttons and the bow tie, right? So you're gonna turn the bag over to its back. And uh, when I say back, it's where the flap is, right? And at the top, you're gonna fold it down about a half inch. So go ahead and fold that down. And this just gives it a flap to kind of open it with. So like seeing here, see it kind of just pre creates this little flap so you're not wrestling with the hat, it kind of separates it. The head of the snowman, I guess, is what I meant there. So just fold that down, make it a little bit shorter. And then we're going to attach the face to the front. Basically, the whole face um, to the front of the bag. So really, you could add a little piece of to the back of the snowman itself, or to the, you can adhere it to the bag. But this way, you can even maybe do a little across the top. And then just place that. Moved my eyes. There we go. To the top of the bag. And you have your little snowman topper bag. I'm going to clean up my liquid adhesive. That's kind of the kicker when you use that. Okay. And now we can go ahead and add a little bow tie, um, some buttons, and um, we have bag number one done. So you could do a bow tie the color of your brim so that it coordinates. You could do it the same as the hat top, however you wanna do that. I might even do red buttons instead of black buttons on mine on this one. So again, using that free principle, we're going to kind of use it as a template in this case. And we're going to trace along it. Might have to with the paper just not go straight to the edge so it doesn't turn up on you. There we go. No music requests. I was never able to find my sack. Okay, to my sacks have a closer that I'll need to cut off. Have a closer? Oh, they have a closer at the top. Are they still white or are they like a uh, xylophone or? Because you could use other ones. It sounds like you kind of have a solution there, but if you need to show me something or kind of bounce off ideas, let me know. This is what it looks like. It has a little tabs at the top. So on, I, think I, can just, I think I can just cut that off. Where are you? Minetta, yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I would just cut that off. Yeah, that's an easier, yep, easy solution. Yep. Does it, um, is it a flat back or does it uh, fold open? Oh, it even has, yeah, okay, that works. That works, I'm glad you found something. That works, good. You happy? <clears throat> Okay, that bow tie is so cute. <clears throat> Just little cutes. Let's see, what songs do we have on here? Rudolph the Red Nose Reindeer? The classic. Does that one go? <laughs> okay, am I back on my hands? Just to make sure everyone can see my hands. Okay, good. Now, again, if you don't happen to have um, about that one inch punch recommended in the supplies, that's kind of what those principles are, just so they um, can kind of work with what you do have. And so we provided that, but 
I'm just going to cut these out. Like I said, I'm going to try some red ones to see what that variation looks like. My buttons are a little bit bigger. Let me see. <clears throat> Hmm. It works. I'm not sure where my other one went. My eyes are a little crooked, but I think it still works too. Okay, so we have snowman bag one down. So you guys can see how easy it is to kind of just mass produce these if need be. I'm gonna add a little pop-up to my bow tie as well. Just love, uh, pop-ups are very much a go-to for me. I've shared that probably with you guys often, but I always look for little opportunities to use a little pop-up because I think it's a simple little effective extra touch. All right, so one, one snowman's done and ready for family pictures. We need to get the rest of them ready. This is the easiest I've ever done. Oh, let me see yours again, June. I saw that you hold that up. Hold on, let me get to you. Cute. Don't they just make you smile? They're so much fun. I love it. Cute. All right. So we can put that one to the side. Let's go ahead and go to making our mother snowman. So for this one, we're going to use tiny bracket number four T, tiny bracket three T for the top. And then for the shawl here, we're going to use tiny bracket one T again. And we're just gonna cut two of those out. So 4T for the face, 3T for the hat, and then 1T to create her shawl. And then again, if you're using the principle, they should all fit within that. So if you are doing that, you can take the face and cut that out of the bracket. Trace and cut that out, or use white cardstock. So you can see it doesn't use much paper either. So even with just an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, you can make quite a bit of them as well. So we're just gonna cut that out. So again, just kind of towards the back ends of your scissors and kind of gliding that through your scissors and then just stick into it. So when I say stick to the back of the scissors, what I'm really actually trying to say is you don't need to do this. You don't need to go all the way to the tip of your scissors and like do this. And just kind of stay on the back end and just keep that cut going as you glide it through with your other hand. Okay. All right. It could be really cute to do, still do like coordinated, but maybe have a different pattern for different hats, you know. I'm sure they're going to get broken up to different homes, but still, it could be really fun. It was fun when I went to go take the picture for the class. It really did feel like family pictures. <laughs> like I was taking family pictures. I was like, okay, snowman, smile. No, I didn't, but it's still fun. Definitely a lot easier to create 
coordinating outfits for them and get them dressed. It's always one of those love hates, like when you want family pictures, for example, you know how important they are, know how valuable they are and how much I'll love them. But yeah, getting everybody ready and then staying ready and then making sure that, you know, the light's good whenever we do them. We don't do them every year, but they are a lot of work. But worth it, 100% worth it. I have a, a family picture from when I was young. I was probably two years old. And all my siblings are standing up and they're older because I'm the youngest in my family. And I'm screaming my head off. <laughs> and everybody else is smiling except for me. I'm screaming my head off and my dad's lap. And I totally ruined the picture. I'm sure my mom was not happy that day. But <laughs> screaming or not, I love having that picture. And I can see it in my head. Uh, Susan, I wonder if it blue ink would make the snow look cute. Ooh, Paula, absolutely. I don't have any blue, tell you the truth, Paula. I stick to the, the simplicity of choice, but this, this is a project actually, I would think that would actually um, add a little bit more character. So it could be really cute. Kind of to the snowman freeze of, their skin tone, I guess. All right, as far as the brim goes, I'm just gonna take my strip that I already cut. So again, one inch, and this is gonna be by four inches. Let me double check that again. So, oh, four and a half inches, sorry. So we're gonna go to four and a half inches on this brim and cut that. Down. And if you want to go ahead and cut out the shawl, so we're just going to cut two of bracket two T. So you can see I'm kind of not using the straight edge there. So I'm going to have to trace the whole bracket on this one. So I'll trace that and then just cut that straight line. And again, if you want to dress them up in any way, feel free to and have a little ribbon to her shawl if you want, or a little bow. Would be really cute too. Just kind of throwing some eyes out ideas out there in case any of them stick or inspire you guys. Feel free to kind of do whatever you're inspired to do. So we're gonna cut two of those again. So tiny bracket 2T, we're gonna cut two of those. Now, tiny bracket is kind of one of those standards designer templates. I mean, it's a fun project that it's creating, but it's so, the, the sizes are perfect for your scrapbooking page layouts or your card making, really an awesome set to have. Lots of fun ways that you can use these tiny brackets. Susan, yep. you said the 2T? Two 2T. Two 2T. Two okay. 2T. Yep. Thank you. No, you're right. You've got me questioned. <laughs> right when you said that, I was like, yeah, 2T. Two 1T one is the one I used. Let me see what it looks like. Oh, it's not as cute. It could work. That's not bad. 
It was one T. Did I say one T first and then went back to two T? I probably did. But it is one T. I think it works with one two T too, though. I don't know. What do you guys think? It doesn't take much to confuse me. No. <laughs> Okay, well, uh, if you want the more grooves, that's the difference, really. Okay. I think is really fun for like the shot. If I was going to say, I do think the one T is really cute. So one T, if you haven't cut yours out, it's really cute with one T. But okay. I'm looking at this one thinking it's kind of more of a straight look. This one feels a little bit more like it's flowing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Oh. oh, hold on. My daughter is calling. Two seconds. Okay, I'll tell dad to come get you. I have his phone. All right, thanks. Love you, buddy. All right. No, I'm gonna cut mine again. I like the one T. So one T, I like it. I'm gonna cut it. I'm thinking we should have, let's see. Let me see if I can actually cut one T. No, won't work. I have another of the sheet, so glad I did that. Well, thanks for catching that. Oh, it's Totally my pleasure. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, they're pretty simple to cut out, but yes. What, what's the three T for? We use that, uh, or the two T? No, the three. Oh, the three? Yeah, you said at the beginning you oh, need yeah. the. It's for the hat. The hat here. So, oh, so the four, the four T was just for the face. Yeah, and then two one Ts for the scarf and the three T for the hat. Correct. Yep. <laughs> yep. We got it. <laughs> yeah. Okay. We got it. All right. We'll cut those out. While you guys are doing that, I'm gonna go tell my husband that my daughter called. Give me two seconds. And cut those. And then, of course, when you have all your pieces, um, kind of the same process, I would um, attach the top of the head to the face first and add all of those together so that you can get the positioning of the face right. Anybody have snow today or anything like that in the part of the world? It's raining all day here. But no snow, thankfully. <laughs> I'm not a snow fan. 
<laughs> it's 80 degrees in Texas. Oh, yeah. well, definitely not snow. <laughs> this will be the only snow I see. <laughs> I'm in Georgia. We've got rain and 50 degrees, but my son lives in Colorado and they got an inch of snow. Mm. It is the season for sure. Yeah, lots of rain today here. Carolina. So add a little bit of adhesive to the top of the face, the head here, and then attach your hat, kind of centered there. It's not going to go all the way straight to the edges, but that's okay because the brim of your hat is going to go and cover those little points, right? So you see how that doesn't go all the way across? Kind of gives it a little bit like a, well, what are those type of hats? Like the little smaller ones feel. A beret? Beret, yes. So go ahead and add that little trimming. So kind of cutting a little nose again, starting with that middle point to kind of guide you that North Star to help you guide the rest of your positioning of your items. And do we attach the head to the bag before the shawl? So I would actually, well, you can lift it a little bit, but I would actually place the shawl pieces down. So yeah, I would, again, bend that over about a half inch and then take your shawl pieces and the points of the brackets are gonna go inwards. And you just add those kind of right at the point of the bag like so. Yeah. Thank you. Actually, I would bring it in more. Sorry. I remember when I did this, I wanted them to come overlap a little bit. So you do want them to kind of touch each other right there in the middle. Yeah. And all of that hidden stuff, we're going, you would just trim off that little excess if needed, and then we're going to hide it. Like so. Yep. So I would put the shawl down first. And then okay, thank you. Yep. And then again, start with that middle dot and then three to the right, three to the left. Yes, my kids were saying how badly they were like, can we go somewhere there's snow and they miss it. Probably because they don't have to thrive in it or anything, you know. It makes, every time I say I'm not a snow fan, I always think of my mom because I remember her saying that to me all the time. She's like, oh, I don't like snow. <laughs> I think when you get older, you start to realize how much work it is. You're like, it's so much work. <laughs> but so beautiful with so much work. <laughs> Right. People in Texas are still recovering from our snowmageddon oh. last year. Mm -hmm. People are still having repairs in their homes. Oh, really? From all the frost and yeah. yeah. The days without out power. Mm -hmm. Yes. So odd. It's so peculiar. My mother-in-law lived in Texas when that was, yeah. She just moved from Texas. That's why I said she used to, but. And my sister-in-law lives there too. Yeah. 
All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and attach my shawl down. Just add it a little to the top. I think I'll bring those down actually. I kind of just want that to slightly um, layer on top of each other. So you can reposition, you kind of play around with that, but for the most part, that's, and then I'm, I'm going to trim off that little excess here on those. And then you can add your head, same way that we did. You can either just add it to the bag, like the top of it, or on the back of the head. I think I folded my bag over a little bit more. It's a little longer on this one, but she's a little bit taller, and that's okay. Buttons down. Mine is scary looking. Yours is what? Scary looking. Uh oh, why? Let me see. I don't have my brackets yet. They're on the way. Oh. <laughs> Who's that? Be no, beta. Ann. Oh, there we are, Ann. Okay, let me see. <laughs> I think it's cute, though. She's cute. <laughs> She's scary. <laughs> She's scary. <laughs> she looks like she could use a snow fight, maybe. But <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she needs a bigger bag. It works. <laughs> Just something about sitting down, doing a little bit of playing to create, and listening to some music and hanging out. Fun. Where'd you get that flower from? So these flowers I picked up actually at Hobby Lobby. I was trying to find my package and it, I cleaned up, gosh dang it. And now I don't know where I put them, but it's just a little, I just got them at Hobby Lobby. A little package of them. Over. Yeah. And they're really fun. And, uh, you know, probably. They're, just, in, the, they're in the craft um uh, Christmas like the kids stuff. art section. Yeah. Like the Christmas section. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but where all the kids are, you know, the Christmas yeah. kids crafts. Correct. Correct. I have to try them. And they're 50% off right now because their holiday stuff is probably still 50% off. But really, I have some left and you, you made me think about it. Um, I'm going to try one more time to see if I can find them. I cleaned my room and I don't know what I'll live with them. <laughs> so I get for cleaning. I'll be able to find them. I know, right when I don't need them. But they come with like 12 in a pack, I want to say. So, yeah. Okay. A little, little, little extra something. All right. So, Mama Snowman, done? No. No, still working on it? Okay. <laughs> um, when, you, when you said trim the shawl, do you mean just the top where the bag rolls over? Yeah, yeah, I just. You don't, you don't mean on the side, right? No, yeah, not on the side. Mm. Okay, thank you. Yeah. So, so could I see the completed Mama Snowman does her shawl hang off the bag? Yeah, here, is it not? On yours, let me see. Uh, 
I see your face on the big screen. Okay, here, let me. Okay. Yes, yeah, her shawl does hang off the back a little bit, right? Yeah, on the sides, correct. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I'll kind of keep that one to here so you guys can. And then we'll create the next little one here. So for this one, we're going to use 2T. Let's get it right this time. So 2T and 3T. Where's my 3T? There it is. So we're going to use the same hat that we just used. We're going to do for her as well. Um, and 2T. And then as far as the little tag, if you have tiny tags, you could absolutely, um, actually, I think this one's a little smaller um, than the one I used, but it will, it's from the preprintable. So that's what we're going to do. We're just going to cut two of those to make the scarf. Um, kind of the same process we did with the shawl, but we're going to just use the the tag for the scarf. And I think for me, I'm going to cut them out of this paper so that I can get some use out of what this one. Since I cut those wrong. I am so sorry, Susan. You said two T and what else? It's okay. Two T and three T. Oh, okay. Yep. Susan? Yeah. What did you, um, which tag are you using for the scarf? So I'm using the one from the free printable. I just turned it out. Did you cut the, or did you do the, did you print the free printable off? Yes. Okay. So it's just from that free printable. You should see it on there. Okay. I thought you said you used a tag though. Yeah. I said if you have the one T tag, you could use that set if you wanted to, but it, the printable will give you that size. Okay, thank you. Like you'll see that this one, I guess the reason I mentioned that is because this one's a little bit bigger, but because I used the template on this one, but then we just wanted to make the supplies list just the one set required, which is why we put it part of the, so it's a little smaller, but I, it actually looks cute. Look how cute that okay. is. And so you'll cut two, you'll trace and cut two of those out on those. So I'm hoping that I can get all of these out of my sheet because I uh, accidentally cut those, but I have another piece of this, but we have to get this out of there still. Yeah, I'm going to need another one because I accidentally cut that wrong. We're not to that one yet. The 2T is the face and the 3T is the hat on this one. And that's what's great is too about the design templates. You really can get as much as you can out of the use of the paper by shifting it around or adjusting it if needed. But. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Santa baby, just sent a sleigh bell to your bedroom. 
These really are fun to create with like um, little ones. We actually did them for activity with my daughter. I guess the girls were probably 12 to 14 and they had a lot of fun creating them. For a church activity, they created them and they had a lot of fun. super simple and just fun to kind of dress them up differently or choose what pattern of paper you want them to be. I'll have to post a picture of that. That was fun. Well, I guess I can't post. I would have to ask for all their permission now that I think about it. That's right. That's why I didn't post a picture. <laughs> but still, it was a really fun activity. So this trim of this hat is three and a half inches. Well, let me measure. <laughs> I keep guessing and then I keep second guessing myself. Well, I think I keep remembering and then my mind says, I remember correctly. Um, okay, so yeah, it's three and a quarter or three and three fourths, sorry. So three and three fourths by one inch on that one. So again, if you kind of just cut one inch off of your paper, you can trim them up the knees. So three, Add a little bit of adhesive to the top. Catch that. And the same thing, you're going to catch it right where those middle brackets are, like we did. Um, the two points are, and then we'll put our brim, which will cover those little points up. Like a little, little mushroom head, bonnet, little bonnet head. I kind of like that all the noses are a little bit different. All have different noses, right? It's a little crazy how fast this month is already going, though. Anyone else kind of blown away that it's already December 10th? Yes. Yeah, going by really fast. I feel like kind of in a way this whole year has been...
Big smile on that one. Big, big smile. And pull that over. And then so <clears throat> with the scarf, you're kind of going to be tucking it in. So I think for this one, I actually would recommend kind of attaching that head a little and then just kind of tucking those in because you can kind of position it if you wanted to do it this way and then, you know, kind of get your, your gauge and assess it as far as positioning goes. Um, or you could just put the head down and kind of lift. It depends what kind of adhesive you're, if you're using forgivable adhesive, like repositional adhesive, then that would probably work. Otherwise, if not, then yeah, you just probably want to lay it down for a moment kind of gets where you want them to be lift it and then i would just add a little adhesive to the top of the tag because it is hanging over just a little bit so you kind of want that to hang over the bag a little that way And it lets the bottom of that kind of flow a little bit. I want it to tilt to the left a little bit too. It's a little too straight. Might tuck that one in a little. Let's get a little bigger. Cute. So simple. Bridget, okay, thanks. Sorry, I just saw your message, so you might have already left, but if not, thanks. I'm glad you had fun. It is a really fun, simple idea. Super easy to make. Probably the simplest class we've done so far. We can use a little bit of simple ones. Simple yet, um, they have a big statement to them, which is always fun. They make a big statement and a smile, and that's, that's all that matters. So yes, you can add a little flower thing if you want here too. I would, if I could find mine, I might just have to go and pick up some more because <laughs> they're so cute with a little, little extra thing if you want to do that. Well, that is our third bag. And then we just have the Papa, Papa Snowman left. And for this one, we're going to use the um, principle that came on, or the design that came on that free principle. And so this is gonna be our vest piece and where the three dots, that goes inwards, uh, just so for reference there. And we're going to then flip it. So make sure you flip it when you cut your next one out. So you're gonna cut two, but one's gonna be face up and then one's gonna make sure that the dots are down, right? So. And even though a lot of this is gonna go tucked away, you could probably trim it up a little bit, but I did notice that 
I wanted the added length just so that you don't see the bag coming through by any chance when you adhere that down. So. You can trace two of those and then flip it. Trace that. You gotta slow down with the paper. A little. I'm so used to going faster that I went off a little. So now I'm gonna have to erase it because I moved on me. All right. I'm gonna turn that up. And on his his hat, I just did all uh, the cardstock. And in this case, um, I did a black top hat. Um, if you want to bring the pattern up again, you could. Uh, just depends on what the style you're going for. So on the other snowmans, we traced it the face out of white and the top out of the pattern. In this case, I traced it out of the black cardstock, little block top hat. I'm trying to think what a little cool red hat would look like. Let me see. Susan, what was his face? The number four Santa? Yeah, so his, yep, it's four and four. So we use the four for the top and four for the face. Okay. Because I'm really still on three. <laughs> okay, that's okay. <laughs> And you said your 12 year olds did this? <laughs> it did. I mean, you know, they didn't make four in the hour that we did it. They just made the two, but, but they had fun. Oh yeah, I'm having fun. Yeah. <laughs> That's all that matters. Uh huh. What, way to make this 62 year old feel really, really old. <laughs> oh. <laughs> I think you're doing great. You're fine. And they did use the principle, so that simplified, you know, they didn't draw the faces on. So, although I think they would have had a lot of fun with those, but. And I have enough googly eyes, I could probably let them, but it was just easier for them just to use the printable for the faces, so. Okay. How's everyone else doing? Anne, how are you doing? Doing good? Good. So about how tall is that hat? The black hat? The black hat? So it's pretty much the 4T. Um, but as far as dimension, if you're not using that one, then it's, oh well. Two inches? Okay, it'll be easier when I get my brackets in the mail. Yeah. <laughs> be cute though. Well, and I was going to show you guys that. So we're using tiny bracket, but the bracket accessory, not the tiny version. You could do similar, like, see, this is a big bag compared to a small bag. But on that one, I used brackets instead of tiny brackets. So, but the same process and the same steps, um, super easy and fun to do, so. Even did a, I don't know if any of you guys saw that one. I don't think we were doing the classes quite yet when we did that one, but the scarecrow, you guys, you remember seeing that one? 
Anyone recalling? I can try to find it if you want. Kind of the same thing, but you can I've check. never seen that. That'd be cute. I've That'd never seen it. Okay, let me see if I can find it while you guys are looking at yours. No promises, but we'll see. Actually, I think. All right, here it is. Oh! <laughs> so you could do a brown bag instead of a white bag. And then you just the little bracket heads. Rocket heads, that sounds weird, but raffia, and then I just used, you know, little tiny nature on those. Um, oh, precious! Yeah. And then these ones, it was a pattern bag, so a pattern paper bag that. Um, those are adorable. Yeah. Yes, I agree. So I change them up for season, it could be really fun. Susan, mm -hmm. I was thinking too on the brims on the hatch, you could use those tiny um, boas and cut them and just use it like the fur from the hats. Oh, yeah. Instead of cutting that strip piece. Yeah. I was thinking that'd be really cute on there too. And you could probably wrap or put a little bit there on her shawl. Oh, yeah, that'd be cute. Mm hmm. That'd be super cute. I think there's a lot of fun ways you could even add to just dress it up or again, add a little style, however you want. I've already eaten that one, let me eat this one. Just in case anyone's there, you'll notice when you go put the vest on, these will overlap in the middle a little, and um, and then you'll just put the two buttons down the middle. But um, I did want them to. I guess it just depends on what size of a bag you're using. If it happens to be a little bit more, you could. But yeah, they they should align up pretty close to that. You could put a bow on him too if you want to use the bow again. You can use the bow, of course, on this smaller snowman here. But if you want to give this one a bow too, that could be cute as well. I might do a little red bow. That could be fun, actually. Yeah. Susan, yeah. How do you take the principle? and make it size it to the bigger bags i mean i know to use the the larger bracket but what do you do with the vest and no i would and, have to size it for you which i could look into doing and then we could send that out i mean i mean is there a way that our printer does it no it would cut off some of the other stuff. There's no way to size the whole eight and a half by 11. To oh, come okay. Off. Yeah. Your printer would enlarge it if you try. Yeah, it would just cut off other pieces. But if you just, yeah, enlarged it, you would, what is that, like 100% or 150%? I think there's a section like that. Yeah. Yeah. But it would cut off other things on the sheet of paper as well. Oh. Like, could you? I could just, uh, it's super easy. I'll just go into the file and I'll, since you mentioned it, and I'll just create a bigger one and we'll send it out. So that we have one for the more traditional um, paper bags that we use. Like the lunch sack? Uh huh. Yeah. So I'll just, uh, 
go in so that it fits on that. Well, thank you. You're welcome. I'm actually going to send myself a note right now <laughs> to make sure I don't forget to do that. Hold on. <clears throat> larger I'm going to add a little red bow tie to mine because I think it's going to be so cute. I'll make sure I'll have the team send it out in the with the replay catch the replay uh, communication. Okay. It won't take long. It should be. It's it would be pretty simple to enlarge that and just do a new version. I have to decide what because I changed it to teal. What I want to do my hat out of. I want to do a black top hat. Maybe I'll just do a solid teal cardstock for mine. Let me just try that. That's pretty cute. So again, it could be really fun. Just pull out your scraps of paper and just do lots of different outfits. For his uh, top hat, you just put another tiny strip of... Yeah. So you do the 4T and the 4T, and then you're gonna do a one inch by four and a half. Let me double check because I questioned the other ones. So it's a little over four and a half, so four and three quarters. That's not a, an inch. How wide is it? Uh, this is about an inch. No, the little red thing. Oh, right here, sticking up. Yeah. Behind. Sorry. Yeah, that's just a little half inch. Sorry, this is a half inch. Yeah. Gray would be pretty, Susan. Say it again. Gray top hat would be cute. Oh, that'd be cute too. Kind of like a light gray. Mm -hmm. Very manly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to see what colorful hat. Hmm. I might do gray. White. It's either way it works. Yeah, let me cut a strip. A little half inch by four and three quarters. Oh, that is cute. Yeah. And then I just did a little bit of a pop of color to bring it up. Just a little hidden strip behind that. Red. And then again, four and three quarters on that. <clears throat> you guys get a chance to do the survey? Oh, yeah. yes. Oh, good. I already spent it. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Those coupons are priceless. Well, we appreciate you guys taking the time to do it so that we can customize ideas and stuff towards those things.
when we had to move systems, gosh, that's almost two years ago, year and a half, you know, two years ago. Yeah, that it didn't come over with it, unfortunately. But this way we can, when we do like a blog post or something, we can go in and say, okay, who all owns this set and make sure they get this. Um, oh, sweet. Mar Mar uh, Maureen said that she used the bow tie from the Cherish accessory set and it for the bigger bags because she's doing the bigger size and it looks really cute, she said. That's good, good to know. Really good to know. So debonair, she says. <laughs> so debonair. Really All right. I'm gonna go ahead and put my last little hat on my snowman here. I need the green one. I'm gonna get another open up another pop-up package. I just finished all my Getting so, late here. Say it again. It's getting late here. I know it's late here. <laughs> Where are you? Uh, Carolina. Oh yeah, same time zone. Yep. New, New Hampshire. Yep. And it's getting darker faster too. I'm never a fan of that in the winter when it starts getting darker earlier, throws me off. But well, get off for it being dark when you get up in the morning and send your kids off to school. Uh-huh. Yeah, six o'clock, but it does get a little lighter. I guess that's true, but in the morning, I mean, it's still dark, but it gets lighter because of it, but then it's so dark earlier. Um, yeah. Here it's back at 4.30. Mm-hmm. So you can see kind of with these uh, bags, if you really wanted to kind of mass produce them and it, you know, you could pick one design and just kind of stick to that one and, or you know, do like five of the same one and then do five of the next one. Switch it up as well. I think I'm going to put my grandkids' uh, stocking stuff in it. Oh, fine. And make them pick which one. <laughs> <It's fun. laughs> oh. See if they can figure it out. <laughs> My daughter is getting so creative because my grandkids are getting older that now she has to label the tags in code. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> are they uh, snoopers? Oh, yeah. Oh. <laughs> they take after their mama. Oh, it always comes back around. <laughs> when their mama was five, daddy and I got, we, there in October we always look forward to October because it meant he got paid three times okay. and so our Christmas was always bought during October mm. and Melinda was five and figured out somehow don't know how because we just we left them at the sitter that day and just said mommy and daddy are going to have a adult day uh-huh and when we came home, we left everything locked in the trunk. 
and because it was a late day and put them to bed. And we got up the next morning and little Miss Melinda had figured out which key went to the trunk and they were playing with all of their Christmas in the middle of the floor. <laughs> the next morning. So they come by it honestly. <laughs> oh, that's a... And she yeah. had talked her sister who was like two and a half. She had talked her sister into, you know, being court. Of course. Yeah. <laughs> that's effort, man. That's that's a lot of effort, right? A lot there. of lot of creative thinking yeah. it was on her part. She's like, I have a problem. I want to see these. I have a solution. <laughs> mm -hmm. That is her. I should have known. Yeah. I don't, I don't have any stories like that. My kids have never been peepers, thankfully, I guess. <laughs> yes. They, they, they do guessing games. So I've learned I've had to like pack a gift inside of another box inside of another box because, right. you know, they tried to, and my husband kind of put a stop to that. He's like, stop touching the gifts. <laughs> Because my husband does not like a spoiler. Like he really loves surprises. And so, and he wants, you know, that's part of the fun is to actually see it and enjoy it. And I'm sure you came out and you're like, I didn't even get to see your reaction. So, uh, Daddy and I were just like. Uh, like, how did you know they were in the trunk? Yeah. Well, and, and how did you get the keys? Right, exactly. I, I mean, yeah, exactly. We were just dumbstruck <laughs> oh, she was paying attention she's she knows what to do mm -hmm. karen said she's going to use her bags for a little gifting cocoa bombs that would be so oh. oh cool perfect so cute perfect size too thank you for that that's cute yeah, she's 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 developed her own little cipher now. <laughs> she's um, telling me about it. To keep what is them, a cipher, you know, like a a, a code. Right. And and now she'll have I mean she's tried like uh, we have a boy and a girl, oldest boy, youngest girl. Uh so she used odd and even numbers, right? Well, they figured that out. Um so now she has taken a number and assigned it to a letter and then mixed up the spelling of their names. <laughs> oh, wow. That is, she's creative. Definitely got a creative bones. Love yeah, it. it's, she's, a, she's an accountant by trade. Oh, so yeah. <laughs> the connections, the dots. Uh -huh. Love it. If she could just figure out how to, you know, solve world peace and hunger, I'd be really tickled. <laughs> that's, that's, that's the ultimate goal for sure. They're, they're fun. Like just changing that one little pattern color. Got a whole different little vibe going on. Hey, look at, I have a plaid, a plaid vest. So I took the coordinating pattern and made his little hat. Oh yeah. That matches the mm -hmm. plaid. <laughs> yeah. I love that. Mixing up some patterns. That's a, definitely down my alley. Like I said, great for pulling out those scraps. You could create many different outfits for lots of different snowmen using scraps of paper. Where's everyone at? Kind of still playing? I had to skip ahead. <laughs> okay. Oh, to the the one with the vest one? Yes, to, to the fourth one. And then you're going to go back to the third one? And then I'll go back to the third one, yeah. 
It's strangely not surprising. <laughs> it's okay. You really shouldn't beat yourself up in any of that way. Yeah. I told them pretty fast. They're so, so cute. I, I, oh, what's, what's next? Valentine's? Yeah, we have a couple classes that's in the works. They're not final yet, but we'll do little Valentine cards, I think is one of them. And like a little mini album again, because it seems like a lot of people had fun with the mini albums. I did. I, I haven't yes. finished those. Oh, well, we need to maybe have a finishing party is what we need. To <laughs> well, my, you know, my little antidepressant got sick and mm -hmm. we've spent the better part of between Thanksgiving and Christmas at the vets. So, oh, mm -hmm. it was a long period of time. It sounds like no fun. Um, yeah, he he had a mass uh, attached to his liver. Ooh. And so they took out the mass and part of his liver. We're just waiting on the biopsy now. Oh, so he's uh, actually today's the first day I've had him home all day. Oh, wow. He's, he's, he's napping on the sofa. I was going to say, is he just laying around? He's probably exhausted. Yeah. yeah. Oh, and he's got stitches all up and down his belly and it's all oh, that's a baby bruise where they had to open him up. Thank you, Corey, for joining us. Um, yes, Mary it's Mineta, and oh, uh, Mineta. the Texas okay. Beta is a group I'm in, and that okay. just stays on there. <laughs> okay, well, I was like, it's okay. from all different states, and it tell it lets us know what state the other people are from. <laughs> that makes sense. Well, thank Merry you Christmas. so much. This is fun. Merry Christmas to you as well. I'm enjoying uh, hearing about your girls' adventures. So best oh. of luck and well wishes for them. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm gonna get going. Getting All right. Started. Thank you. You're welcome. Take care. Take care. Bye, Maureen. Merry Christmas. It'll be here before we know it, the way that the days are going. <laughs> Thanks so much, Susan. You are very welcome, June. I'm going to say good night now, but All I right. had a lot of fun. All right. Take care. Does anyone else have any questions before I leave you? I think we're, we're cut up. We're good. Do you? Yeah, I, I should have a, like a little notepad so I can write down the. Okay. Yeah, if you need dimensions on the third one. Is that the one you're going to go back to? I, I, you know what? I, I, I traced it. I just didn't cut it. Okay. So I think I'm okay. Okay. Perfect. All right. Well then I'm going to say goodbye to all of you guys. Merry Christmas. Bye. Merry Christmas. And uh, if you get a chance, take pictures, post them in the community. I want to see your guys' cute little snowmans. So, <laughs> all right, guys, take care. Bye. Good night. <laughs>